What's up, everybody? Blue, got my books in my hand. Look, corner stores in the middle of the block. People always ask me, what do you mean by corner stores in the middle of the block? Well, when I used to be a barber uptown in Harlem, I used to cut hair. I'm a licensed barber, by the way. I used to cut hair uptown, and the dude was like, yeah, I'll be right back. I want to get me something to drink before I get my hair cut. I'm going to run to the corner store. And then I watched him go across the street to the corner store. But then I noticed, I was like, hey, that corner store is not on the corner. It's in the middle of the block. And that's where the title comes from, corner stores in the middle of the block. And you know when you work in a barbershop, you hear a lot of different conversations and stuff like that. And, um, you know, that's what, what, this, what sparked the book over the conversations I heard. And I just wanted to change the condition of the people. But you ever notice, like, in inner city neighborhoods, you got a corner store, a liquor store, a Chinese restaurant, and a, a chicken joint. And those are like the components of an inner city neighborhood. And most corner stores is like a quick fix for the people in the neighborhood. And that's why the food in the corner stores is usually more expensive than it is in the grocery stores. But in the grocery stores, they be doing price hiking too. And they do that bait and switch kind of trick where they put uh, products in the, in the uh, brochures that are on sale. But when you get to the cash register, you realize it's not on sale. It's the regular price. But most people are on fixed income. So you've got EBT cards or stamps. So they don't necessarily care about the price because the money is not really coming out their pocket. But they do a lot of price gouging and price fiction in these corner stores and grocery stores and supermarkets in the hood. But, you know, like, I just write about, like, what you see every day. And um, the thing about corner stores is the corner store, like I said, is the quick fix for the people in the neighborhood. And it's usually food loaded with sugar and salt. Look at it when you go in the corner store next time. It's always, like, big bags of potato chips, bags of cookies, processed meat and a bunch of sweet drinks and this is why obesity is so prevalent in uh in the city neighborhoods and impoverished neighborhoods and this is why people be having bad backs and sore joints and can't sleep and can't and sleep too much it's because the food we put in our body like i said man um you know we just put a lot of bad food in our body and the food it sustains life, but it also takes you away. And this is why it's some of the things I was trying to convey in my poetry by writing this book, Corner Stores in the Middle of the Block. Um, you can check out my books on eBay. I don't have a website right now, but you can check them out on eBay. My name is Brad Bathgate. Brad Bathgate. And that's where you can find my books online. And like I say, you know, I write about the funny and the ironic things I notice about everyday life in New York City. Hence the title. I'm from that part of town where they got corner stores in the middle of the block. All right, y'all. Take it easy.